I am Anil Kumar and here is a communication question on rate of change. On a velocity versus time graph for driving to work, what indicates that there is no acceleration and no displacement over a time interval? There is deacceleration over a time interval. There is decrease in displacement over a time interval. Well, for that, let us sketch one velocity versus graph and then discuss. Okay, so let us say the trip to the office is kind of like this. Let us say we go like this, come like this, come like this, and like. This. Let us say that is representing a trip to work. Okay, now here we can take velocity. It is velocity, right? Velocity is kilometers per hour and let us say time is in hours for us okay now let's consider this graph it means velocity is increasing distance is increasing velocity is kind of constant distance is still increasing right velocity is constant means there is no acceleration at that time a horizontal line indicates a constant velocity zero acceleration but let's say you're driving at 100 kilometers an hour for 10 minutes you will cover some distance right good distance but what we are interested in there is no acceleration and no displacement over a time interval so that part is not as per our requirement now let's look into this part velocity is zero so that means it is not changing also zero from here to there no change in velocity means no acceleration now since there is no Velocity zero means stand still. That means no displacement also. So this part indicates that there is no acceleration and no displacement. So this part indicates the first thing. So it is the line along the time axis where velocity is zero. So we have no acceleration and no displacement, right? The second part is there is deacceleration over a time interval deacceleration means what is acceleration it is rate of change of velocity with time correct let me use another ink for this now so deacceleration means negative right so negative is along this path so velocity is decreasing you see from here to here now that decrease shows deacceleration right so this is the part where it is deaccelerating so it indicates a decrease in velocity right in the first case i should write that velocity v equals to zero the last part is there is decrease in displacement well in this case there is decrease in velocity but still we are moving away from the source. Distance is increasing or the displacement is increasing. The position is farther away from the original. But when the velocity is negative, then what happens? So here we have a zero and this portion the velocity is negative. So negative velocity means that you are approaching, correct? So distance is decreasing you're approaching the starting point so in that case the displacement decreases right so this is part C for us let me name them as a B and C it'll be easy for us to write down here so this is C this is this is a for us and that part is B for us so that is how we can explain with the help of velocity time graph different intervals where acceleration is zero and displacement is also zero or where there is deacceleration or where there is decreasing distance or decreasing displacement i hope that helps thank you and all the best